Let's talk about the artificial radioactivity. Artificial radioactivity or induced radioactivity was discovered by Irene Curie and Joliet in 1934. The phenomena by which even light elements are made radioactive by artificial or induced method that's referred to as artificial radioactivity. You can see there is an induced fission. It's induced fission and we got the products. And this is going to hit it. And there is a change happening here everywhere. That's referred to as radioactivity. So let's talk about the artificial radioactivity further with the Curie and Juliet experiment. They showed that the radiation was due to an emission of a particle carrying one unit of positive charge with a mass equal to that of an electron. This particle is known as a positron. Then this is the reaction. You are able to see, I got my boron which reacts with the helium to form a nitrogen which is really unstable with an emission of a neutron. The unstable nitrogen becomes a carbon-13 with a positron emitter. And here is the reaction. The nitrogen atom is radioactive and decays with the half-life about 10.1 minutes into a stable isotope of carbon with the emission of positron and here is the final equation. In the case of aluminium, the reaction will be, you got your aluminium, reacts with the helium to form the phosphorus which is really unstable and your neutron is coming and this phosphorus unstable one becomes a silicon a stable one with the emission of positron I got my positron here so radio phosphorus decays into a stable isotope of silicon with the emission of a positron the half-life of radioactive phosphorus is about 3 minutes that is given as this one. The radioactivity, artificial radioactivity follows the same laws of natural radioactivity. Artificial radioactive elements emit electrons, positrons, neutrons and gamma rays.